Good afternoon, boys and girls. On today's episode, we'll be rolling fenders on this beautiful super here. Um, he's got actually two of them. It's my boy Mike. Uh, he had his other super rolled by somebody who we won't name. One me, one Kobe. So he's letting me do this one because the other one, some bad things happened that were fixed through the body shop, but shouldn't have happened. So we're gonna take care of him, give you a little before and after, maybe even show you a little techniques or secrets. Stay tuned. All right, this is before. All we want is flush. We don't wanna change the body line of this beautiful booty whatsoever. All we wanna do is make that flat. Thank you. Doesn't say Eastwood anymore on there, but that's all we use around here. There's a similar one they sell on eBay that's blue. It's not the same thing, I promise you that. Y'all wanna try this, y'all wanna do this. First thing is get a proper roller. Eastwood, I highly recommend. If you got deep pockets, uh, Power by Max makes a fender roller that's also very good. All right, so I just finished up with this side of the Supra. Um, this car is going in for paint because it's got a lot of dings and dents on it. So if you see some stuff, it ain't me. It's, uh was already there previous, but let's check it out. All right, so in order to uh, roll cars sometimes that are too low, you got to take off some things from it. In this case, on this Supra, um, this is the bolt that connects the lower control arm to the BC coilover. So you drop this in order to get the right angle that you need. Um, sometimes in other vehicles you have to do the same thing. So there's a tip for you guys. What makes this hard is the fact that there's a spot weld about every inch or so so we can't go all the way flush without leaving waves but he wasn't cutting or he wasn't rubbing very much so we did exactly what he needed just make that make that room under there <laughs> 